today we're unboxing the Keychron keyboard. Now this was funded through Kickstarter and I think it had over a million dollars in funding and it looks like this. It is very much, I don't know if you can hear it, like it sounds kind of like if you remember the keyboards from Commodore 64 which came out back in the 80s. Obviously, I'm older, so I remember those. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's a little different than the other keyboards that we had seen previously, the QWERTY keyboard and the Penna, because those actually hold an iPad Pro in them. This is not what that's meant for. It's just meant to give you that sort of heptic feedback if you like it from the older style keyboards, and it connects via Bluetooth and via a wire to either your Mac or to your PC. So it does not, I don't think it works for an iPad. We could try it out. So let's go ahead and look at this today. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa and welcome to my Cozy Mystery Author Team channel where we talk about all things related to cozy mystery writing. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday and I do extra videos like this just randomly. So make sure to hit the bell so you get notifications when new videos go live. Now this keyboard was, it's called the Keychron and it was, um, I think it retails for $69, but only on the website for Kickstarter. I will leave that link below. They started shipping out. They said, uh, just recently in September. Uh, so I think you could get one now. Now I did get this uh, for free in exchange for a an honest review. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's go ahead, unbox this and try it out. So it came in this very plain plastic nondescript DHL bag. Um, so obviously it arrived. Uh, the box is pretty beat up and that's to be expected since it didn't have any other protective coating. Now I did receive this uh, free in exchange for an honest review so it's possible that if you order from them it will not arrive like that. It will maybe arrive in with another box. I'm not really sure um, but you can see here is their logo on the front uh, and I guess some product description information on the back and let's go ahead and open this up. I open it? I thought I cut it. Oh, there it is. Tab. And inside of here, you have some protective foam. And we have the keyboard wrapped in plastic. Let's take that out. And it's pretty hefty. <laughs> you can't feel this. Um, but nice keyboard. This reminds me of those old keyboards. I don't know if anyone is as old as me. The Commodore 64 computers that came out like I want to say in the 80s. Um, let's see. If you are a Windows user, please find the appropriate keycaps in the box and follow the instructions below to find and replace the keycaps. All right. So they did say that these are very much uh, made for just Apple Mac users. So but it looks like they were nice enough to give PC users an alternative. So this gives you directions on how to connect the Bluetooth, change the lighting effect over here, and to connect cables, switch between function, multimedia, disable auto sleep, caps lock indicator. What else do we get in the box? Uh, we also have some directions here. And I think this must be a cord. Yes. So we have a cord here. And this must connect, let's see. So we have little keys over here and it connects over here. So this must go into here like that. And then this goes into your computer, which I will have to get an adapter because I have the USB-C hookups. Um, and here are the Windows PC caps, but we don't need those. And over here, I honestly have no idea what this is. <laughs> Not a clue. I'm sure people who know what this is are laughing at me right now because I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so that's everything that came in the box. So let's try it out. So with 
what you think. I actually really liked it. I didn't think I would. I don't know why. For some reason, because it didn't hold the iPad, I thought it wasn't going to be good enough, but I like the way it feels. I like the sound it makes, even though it's loud, but it kind of makes me feel when I hear it like I'm in those old style, like, I don't even know, newspaper rooms where everyone's just clicking away on typewriters and I just feel like I'm being productive. Like the louder it is, uh, the more I'm writing. So let me know what you thought and if you're thinking about getting one below. I'll also leave links on where you can buy it as well. All right, no matter what keyboard you're using or device, I hope everyone is having a fabulous start to their NaNoWriMo and having very productive writing days. And I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget, I do have two write-ins coming up. Uh, and when I say I, I mean Courtney and I, we have teamed up to do some cozy escape write-ins for you. And if you would love to join us, we would love to have you. So make sure to check those out below. All right. Bye, everyone.